A mass evacuation this morning along Australia's southeastern coast with bushfires looming and extreme danger ahead. A heat wave expected to push temperatures over 100 degrees Fahrenheit by the weekend. Tourists, residents, everybody being told to get out. Thousands of people remain stranded on beaches, figuring the water may be their only escape. Practically a war zone, it's just ridiculous. Local fire brigades, mostly volunteers, are doing what they can to help keep the fires from spreading. But the threat here is unprecedented. With over 100 fires burning in New South Wales alone, barely half of them are contained. At times, firefighters battling flames over 200 feet high. One of the biggest concerns, wildlife caught in the fire's path. Images of residents saving koalas going viral. And while authorities say there's no way of telling how many animals have been killed, experts say it's likely to be in the millions. It was right on my window, uh, the side of my truck got melted. Over 12 million acres of the country has burned. In burnt out areas, there's no electricity, water or phone service. The government has deployed the military, but is being criticized that it isn't enough. What we're saying is we, have, we cannot control the natural disaster but what we can do is control our response. With little time before the fires are expected to reach here, there are huge lineups for fuel and at supermarkets, people waiting for hours to comb empty shelves for food, water and supplies to get them through it. Yeah, but I'd say to anybody, don't stay, just go. Water bombers will resume their runs in the morning. They're trying to keep the larger bushfires from merging together. The problem, of course, is that there's no controlling the weather, especially the wind, which is expected to get stronger over the next couple of days. So people are bracing for what could be a very dangerous weekend here.